All right, what's up everybody? Landon with LMR.com. We're working on our 96 Bronco. Uh, we've already removed the factory moisture barrier. Uh, it was tore. Somebody had already been here before, had electrical tape holding it on. So we pretty much made the executive decision and just removed it. All you gotta do is just carefully go around the uh, perimeter of that factory moisture barrier and uh, remove it from the inner door skin. Uh, and then you can either feed it past all your harnesses or you can kind of make a slit into the uh, factory moisture barrier and just uh, pull it off. We've already cleaned up our inner door skin. That's a pretty thick layer of dust, but a soft bristled brush, a vacuum, uh, did the trick to get the majority of it off. We came back after that with a waterless wash based product. So I didn't micromanage much of the residue. I'd already spent about 15 minutes on it. This would take, you know, probably uh, several more minutes to get all the residue. So not gonna micromanage that. Before I install uh, the moisture barrier, we'll go ahead and wipe where it's gonna make contact uh, with isopropyl alcohol. Just give this a good wipe just to the main raised areas. The moisture barrier that we currently sell, uh, it's just a s single adhesive sheet uh, that goes over the correct area here on the uh, door skin. So basically wherever it's gonna touch, it's gonna try to stick to. So you just wanna wipe as uh, much as you can uh, with the isopropyl alcohol where the new moisture barrier is gonna be installed. This is non-formal at all, but uh, these will arrive uh, rolled up. Um, so you'll just wanna kinda let them lay out for about an hour, 30 minutes, whatever, uh, and let them flatten out. So I think ours been sitting here for a few minutes and uh, you know, you can already see how nice and uh, even those are or how much they've uh, flattened out. We'll take them both over here to the door and you'll just wanna hold up uh, which one is which. You'll know which side has the uh, adhesive backing. So that one's gonna be the driver's side. We'll set that one down, we'll address it um, after we do the passenger side. But um, there you go, there's the passenger side, just a quick general mock-up here on the uh, door skin. You'll have to feed it underneath that door handle, get you a little bit better mock-up. Uh, around the speaker, of course, you'll feed your harnesses through this opening right here. But uh, what you're probably noticing, you're noticing a few holes uh, here. Those need to be lined up as well. That's where your uh, push pins uh, secure to the uh, door skin uh, for the door panel. So as you work of anything that's important, you just wanna make sure all of your holes are aligned with the holes uh, in the door scan. If you have to elongate some of this, you can. Uh, you know, a, a sharp razor blade uh, will do the trick. And then if you wanted to, you could uh, mark the areas for your run channel bracket there, that bolt. And then you've got a bolt here uh, for the run channel bracket. We've mocked ours up. I'm gonna go ahead and feed courtesy light or puddle light, whatever you wanna call this harness connection through followed by the window and door lock switch harness. Pull those all the way through. Get our handle situated. And then we can kind of see where we're at here and then we can back out of the harnesses. Uh, if you feel confident, you feel like you're ready, uh, you can go ahead and uh, roll the backing off of the uh, moisture barrier to expose the, uh, the adhesive. Just because of some of the relief cuts, you'll kind of have to, you know, work it at a few different angles to release the, the backing paper. So now the same motion those through. That's why it's good to mock it up first. That way you kind of have a good kind of plan and direction of, of where you're going. So we'll work it to our holes. You can start, you know, at, at any location. You'll probably have to, you know, Pull it off, restick it, pull it off, restick it, that's okay. All right. Okay, so right here we'll notice how the uh, bracket for the door handle, 
how it's kind of poking up. Simple little fix here. Uh, if we just want to clearance that, you know, we can kind of run our razor blade in the direction that it needs to be clearanced. Of course, you know, don't cut anything behind there. If you want to leave that in place, you can. Or if not, you know, you can, you can clean it up some. Don't worry about it sticking 100% flat. That's just the nature of how this is going to be. Like I said, you'll have to kind of pull it off, re-stick, pull it off, re-stick. Okay, we've got all of our holes aligned. And then now, if you wanted to finesse anything, you know, you could use this opportunity uh, to finesse any of your openings and stuff like that if you wanted to clearance your holes. Uh, like I was referring to here, here, and here, you can. Or uh, you can leave those there, and whenever you need to address those, you can clearance the moisture barrier at that time. So there you go, that's simple. Uh, you're done. Um, like I said, if you kind of wanted to micromanage a few more of the area, areas you can, um, by all means, go for it. Yeah, each of our, each individual um, expectations would be a little bit different. So, uh, and all you gotta do is repeat the same steps uh, for the driver's side. So I uh, hope y'all found some value in this one. Uh, they're really easy to work with. These are good to have uh, on your door panel. This will work for, uh, of course, 92 to 96 OBS Bronco uh, and OBS trucks. So uh, if you found value, like the video, subscribe to our channel and uh, turn on notifications. And until we catch you in the next one, y'all know what to do for all things 92 to 96 Bronco. Keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.